what was that? Real quick for the list for the viewing audience, can you do a quick uh, thirty second distinction between um, anarchist Marxists? You know, let, let us let us define our terms. So I I shall let you, the elder member mm-hmm. of more lefty stuff, and the 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 elder podcaster opine if okay. possible. So anarchists believe that the major problem in society is hierarchical power, mm-hmm. and they want uh, to for people to be treated as equals. And they want to destroy institutions that uh, basically cr- create inequality in the world. I'm, this is. Do you think? What do you think of that? Definitely? Hell yeah. yeah, that sounds good. I'm an anarchist now. Yeah, right. Exactly. The problem with anarchists is that where they point to as the source of of hierarchical authority, um, and I would also go so far to say that hierarchical authority occurs on different registers. Like there's a. Like, um, the kind of hierarchical authority you uh, suffer under when you are a classical musician being told when to play by a conductor, and there's a the kind of hierarchical authority that you suffer under when you're an employee working for minimum wage at a job that barely gets that you can barely get by on, and you ha- and you're struggling to survive. And those are completely different kinds of hierarchical authority. A hierarchical authority that is based on maybe not exactly mutual consent, but based on a certain level of freedom and uh, working it out on a on a playing field that's mostly equal, materially equal, let's say, is different than hierarchical authority where basically if you don't listen to me, you're going to starve or die or get shot. I mean, it's diff- just totally different things. But anyway, anarchists think that hierarchical authority is the main problem. Marxists think that hierarchical authority is far too general a category, that you have to look at the differences between kinds of authority throughout history that there's been such a thing developed called capitalism and that we have to look at how it works and and change the mode of production they'll say the mm. way that we we produce things together collectively the institutions around the economy and politics both. manufacturing and shipping and all that stuff and yeah manufacturing shipping day jobs yeah work primarily work reproductive work meaning not reproducing human beings although that may be part of it but reproducing the material world the structures we live in, the clothes we wear, everything. Making and reinforcing. Yeah. And the main thing for Marx was that the commodity form itself, this idea that we produce things for exchange in the market, was a major problem. So the difference between anarchists and Marxists, in my, from my perspective, is that anarchists are far more likely to take capitalism as it is as the natural world and think that occasionally what happens is they think if everyone could just be their own entrepreneur, then we'd have a free society. <laughs> that's a kind of anarchism that exists. You'll never find a Marxist who says that kind of thing. Right. Um, now, the problem with Marxists is that they often think it's all about power, uh, about state power, about politics taking c- the control of the government and the state. Um, and that is, you know, the history of the 20th century is making the mistake about not going deep enough into changing the mode of production. Mm. But, but yeah, so that's it. That's my that's my quick. Little thumbnail yeah. thumbnail of the difference between anarchists and Marxists. The point is that Marx was a writer and a critic and a thinker, and, and a, uh, that if you want to know what a Marxist is, you know, there's a whole slew of books to read. But if you want to know what Marx thought, you read what Marx wrote.